sometimes I dream about flying through the sky like a superhero. I have tried something like that. And if you watch to the end of the video, you will see how you can too. My mom is a skydiver. That's her. She has made hundreds of skydiving jumps. She says skydiving feels like floating on air. It's nothing like roller coaster. When she jumps, she wears special equipment like this. She has goggles to keep bugs out of her eyes. She has an altimeter so she knows how high she is. And when she has to pull the ripcord for her parachute, it looks like this. It looks like a clock. She has a helmet. Just like people have helmets for skiing, skateboarding, and bicycling. Let's try one on. Friends, do you know my dad has more jumps than my mom? He has been a rigger for a long time. Let's go in his loft. Can you talk while you're skydiving? Only in the movies. How fast do you fall? Maybe 120 miles an hour. Wow. What happens if the parachute doesn't work? Well, most folks jump with two parachutes. So if the first parachute doesn't work, they use the second. Would you like to see it? Yeah. Here's a pretty typical parachute. Wow. There's some handles on the front. And around the back here, We'll see another little handle right there. Wow. That's for the main parachute. Yeah. That's to start the main parachute out. Do you want to pull that? Yeah. Whoa, look at that. That's called a pilot chute. Cool. It's a little parachute. And there it goes, just like that. Cool. And that's what pulls the main parachute out. Like that. Like that. And the main parachute is packed in this bag right here. Wow. So as the parachute opens, see the lines open, the bag opens, and the parachute comes out of the bag. It's huge. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So huge. See it? Cool. Now, Thank you for this. Yeah. When it inflates, it looks kind of like a big air mattress. Um, but if you actually look at it, it's more like an airplane wing. There's lines that are attached to the back edge of this wing, too. And you can pull on them. With these handles right here. Those are the steering handles. Want to pull one? There you go, like that. So that'd be pulling one, and there's one on the other side too. So there's a left and a right. That was a little easier for you, right? Okay, so that's the main parachute. Now you ask what would happen if the main parachute doesn't work. So what happens is we can disconnect the main parachute. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay, so to disconnect the main parachute, what we need to do is we need to pull this yellow handle right here, okay? So keep pulling. Pull it all the way up. And when you do that, the oh. main parachute goes away. Look at that. Gone. And now, all you have left is the backup parachute right there. Yeah. That's another handle right there. Yeah. It pulls. You pull that. Oh, look at that. That one opens up, and there's another pilot chute. It's just for a new one. Pardon me? That's just for a new one. It's a blue one, yeah. And out comes another parachute. Friends, did you see that? Has this happened if you need two parachutes? Yes, but not very often. It's sort of like having seat belts in your car. Just like you wear your seat belt for safety, we have that second parachute for safety. And who packs parachutes? The main parachute is usually packed by the person who's going to jump it. The reserve parachute 
the backup parachute is packed by a special person called a parachute rigger. Is that you? I'm one of them. But there are hundreds of parachute riggers all over the United States Whoa. and around the world. How old do you have to be to go skydiving? In most places, you have to be 18 years old. Wow. I don't know wait when I'm 18. When can I try that? We don't have to wait very long at all. Would you like to go this afternoon? Yeah! Friends, let's go find my mom's rig. Come on! My mom always used when she skydives, but if this one doesn't work, she used the other one. Friends, if you want to jump out of an airplane, you should do this. If you want to turn, do this. If you want to turn the other way, do this. If you want to go forward, do this. But if you want to go backwards, do this. Let's check out the skydiving airplane and talk to the pilot that gives skydivers right up to the altitude. The best part about skydiving airplane is that everyone gets a window seat. Careful with the buttons. Okay. Have you ever flown in an airplane? No? Here we are. And this will tell us how, how, high we're, how fast we're climbing. So our climb rate is on here. And this shows me the heading that I'm going. So right now I'm going west. And then this is my attitude. It'll show me if I'm in a climb or a bank, a descent. And then my airspeed is right here. It shows me how fast I'm going. So when this needle comes all the way over here, I go a lot faster. Once it comes down, I go slower. Pretty cool, huh? And then this is, this is the power button right there. We push it forward and that lets us go. And then you have a speed lever right here which controls the pitch of your propeller. Wow. And then this is for your flaps. So this will help us take off at a slower airspeed and land at a slower airspeed. And then you have these wheels here like this one, this one, and this one. And then this is just our trim to help us uh, relieve pressure on the flight controls. It makes it a little easier to fly. You got all your gauges up here. This is our fuel, so we know if we're running low when we need to get fuel. Our torque, it's basically all our power engine monitors right here. Pretty cool. Friends, skydivers are going! jump out of plane. When it's time, skydivers pull the rip cord. Out comes the pilot chute. Pilot chute pulls out the bag that has the main parachute in it. Did you see that? Let's watch again. Out goes the pilot chute. It pulls the parachute out. Woohoo! When parachute opens, it's really shaped like an airplane wing. To steer it, you pull on these yellow handles. Pull on the right one, you turn right. Pull on the left one, you turn left. When you're coming in for landing, you pull both of them to slow down and get extra lift to make the landing softer. See how my mom did? Such a soft landing. Here comes Dutchie. His landings are so good. I'm too young to jump from airplanes. Mom and Dad took me to indoor skydiving. As I came along, we trained a little, got suited up, and got in the tunnel. Look at that. And Isaac was running around in a Superman costume. He wanted to fly too, so he got a little chance. Then I got my turn to fly. At first it was hard. 
hard. Then I got really good. I jumped in the tunnel. And I flew and I played with a bunch of instructors. They were very nice. That was a lot of hard work, but I enjoyed skydiving. Try two. It was finally over. That was fun. See you next time.